that's a terrible way to treat somebody to come over and spend the evening with you. Yeah, and keep you away from doing your work. I did my work. What do you want me to do? What do I want you to do? Why don't you clean up outside? You know what that junkyard looks like? A junkyard. <laughs> now, just look at this house. It's a good thing there's a wall over there, Papa. I wouldn't know where the yard ends and the house begins. Well, that's what it takes to make a home. You ever hear that saying? Takes a heap of living to make a home. <laughs> well, you look in the middle of this heap, and not one decent television. Listen, I already told you, I am not buying no new television. Why not? We can afford it. We got money saved. Because I'm going to buy something that's more important. Like what? Just stick around, and you'll find out. Hello, Gail. How you doing? This is Lamont. Hey, guess what? I bought a car. A what? <laughs> a car, a little convertible. Oh. Uh, I knew you'd be surprised. Oh, this is a bad one. <laughs> this is the worst one I ever had. Say, so would you mind waiting until I get off the phone before you have a heart attack? <laughs> he bought a car. He bought a new car. No, listen, it's not new, it's used, but it's just as good as new. Oh, your car, what we need with a car? Well, so me and you could get around, sugar. Listen, you know, I, I was just thinking, uh, Saturday morning, maybe we could get together and pack a little picnic basket and, and, and ride up the coastline a ways with, with the wind in our hair. You would? Terrific. Okay, well, listen, I'll pick you up Saturday morning. Ciao, baby. I can't believe you. I can't believe you'd buy a new car and I need a new TV. You always think about yourself. What are you talking about, Pop? You'll be able to ride in it. And let the wind blow through my scalp. <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you, because I've already paid for it. And not only that, I'm picking it up tomorrow. you selfish. That's what you are. What about me? Hey, Pop, let's face it. Now, I'm getting a car because I need a car. I can't continue to take out girls in that old broken-down truck. What's wrong with the truck? If she wants her hat to blow in the wind, let her take her wig off and hold it out the window. There's no use. You don't understand nothing. Do you realize, Pop, that everybody has a car today? And everybody has a color TV. Arthur Matthews' son bought him a color TV, and that's a good son. Good and kind and thoughtful. Pop, Arthur Matthews' son is a crook. You told me that yourself. He's a gambler and a hustler and a thief. Well, if a bum like that can buy his ugly father a TV, <laughs> why can't you get your handsome dad one? <laughs> so now I'm not even as good as Arthur Matthews' son, huh? Well, I don't know how you could go on living with somebody like me. Well, I ain't, I can't, I'm not, and I'm leaving. <laughs> why don't you go over to Arthur Matthews' house? You can watch television with him and his ugly wife. <laughs> You're like a rose between two thorns. Yeah, well, I'd rather be over there sitting between two ugly people watching television than to be here with you. I'm leaving. Well, go on, Rosie. <laughs> I'm leaving. And you know that trip you mentioned about going up the coastline? Well, when you start out there, I hope you run out of gas on a mountain. <laughs> and the filling station is 10 miles away, uphill. <laughs> And when you get there, I hope it's closed. <laughs> Thanks a lot. There's nothing wrong with this TV. I used to watch a whole lot of good shows on this set. Just turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> um,